All right, so today I'm going to take a look back at the 61st through the 70th products I've reviewed here on Freakin' Reviews. I'll give you an update if anything's changed since my original review and let you know how it's going since then. So let's get right to it. I used Harry's back in April. It took me a while to get used to the angle of the blade, but I ended up liking it and using it for a couple of months. I ended up replacing that with the Fusion 5 Pro Shield Power, which is insanely expensive, but also very effective. And I also kind of like this new Micro Touch Solo that I've been using. So those are other ones I would recommend, but Harry's is not a bad razor, and I liked it while I used it. One thing I will say is that in my original video, I mentioned this honing technique where you can hone razor blades using your arm or a pair of jeans. But I should have mentioned that it doesn't work on every type of blade, and unfortunately for me, it didn't work on Harry's. It works on other blades I've used, but not all the time, and in this case, the honing technique didn't work. When I first reviewed the Red Copper Pan back in April, I found that it was an effective non-stick pan, but you got to take care of it. I also just recently posted a follow-up, which I'll link below. I will say that I'm still happy with it. It's my go-to pan for all of my cooking needs, but you just gotta take care of it to make it last. The 63rd product that I reviewed is Hercules Hose, which is a metallic garden hose. And my initial test found to be pretty good. I'm like sawing it right now, and it's, it's holding up pretty well. I'm actually sawing it. It's been sitting out here in my backyard for months. I left it out here where Bailey plays. She runs across it. She steps on it. I've left it outside in the sun, and it so far has held up pretty well. I did want to try a couple of durability tests because on the commercial they show getting run over by a lawnmower, which I think is a little bit extreme. But let me just try a couple of less than extreme tests and see how it holds up to those. You may have seen my review for the multi-cut. Let's see if the multi-cut can make a dent in the Hercules hose. It's a classic ASEAN TV battle of offense versus defense. Let's see which one does the best. If it can handle a lawnmower, it should be able to handle the multi-cut, because the multi-cut couldn't even get through a regular wire hanger. Ready? Ugh. Okay, well, it didn't cut it, but it bent the blank out of it. My question is, will it leak now at this part? Let me plug it in and see. Bailey, no. Bailey, no. No, no. No, no. All right, well, here is where I cut it at with a multi-cut. Well, I shouldn't say I cut it because I dented it. But it's actually not leaking. I'm quite shocked. I think that a normal everyday use, if it can handle that, it's actually pretty good. So I think the Hercules hose stood up to that test pretty well. The 64th item that I reviewed here in Frequent Reviews is... Thin optics. It's the reading glasses that can attach easily and conveniently to the back of your phone or other places. All you do is take it off out of its small case, put it on your nose like that, and you instantly have reading glasses with you. I happen to like thin optics when I first used it, and I've used it almost daily since then. I'm a fan, I'm hooked. This is one of the best products that I've reviewed since I started the Freakin' Reviews channel. Thin Optics is definitely a good product. I did Whirly Ball in Hawaii also, along with Rocket Copters, which I'm not really gonna update here because they were just kind of thrown in there, but Whirly Ball was one of the most fun products that I reviewed because it's actually a pretty fun toy. Now, I'm not one to play with toys. <laughs> Takes off. Oh, sh Oh. But sometimes I'll put this on and see how Bailey reacts to it. I don't let her hit it in the face. She doesn't usually touch it. She just kind of chases it around. So I thought you would see how Bailey reacts to the Whirly Ball, which I still think is a really fun toy. Bailey. See that? So Whirly Ball, I think, is a really fun investment for the $10 price tag. So Zaplite is the bug zapper that I did in Hawaii, and it's currently in 
this lamp. I've used it a couple times around the house and I'm not actually sure if it's caught any bugs, but if it has, it hasn't been that many. Now in Hawaii, it worked pretty well. I'm not seeing very large bugs in here. I don't see any of those big moths that are out there. I don't see a single one. Looks like the, only the smaller bugs could get through there. Oh yeah, there's definitely a smell at times. But it seemed to catch moths and not mosquitoes because mosquitoes aren't attracted to light. They're attracted to carbon dioxide that are, is emitted by people. So I think that for indoor use, it may not be that effective because I don't think it's really caught anything. Outdoor use, probably a little bit better. For my 67th product review, I compared a couple of Mission cooling towels, how they performed in Las Vegas versus how they performed in two different areas of Hawaii. So here I am in Lahaina at the Banyan Tree, which is a great place to hang out. And I've got my 2017 Mission uh, Endure Cool cooling towel. And my conclusion was about what I expected, that in the dry desert climate, it's going to provide pretty good relief, while in humid areas, it's not. Now I've been using one of these actually for about four years now and I occasionally use it when I take walks out in the daytime and it does a pretty good job of cooling due to evaporation. But if you live in somewhere like Miami, all it's going to feel like is a warm wet towel. If you read all the comments, you'll see that most people agree with my conclusion. Dry climate, they work. Humid climate, they don't. All right, now for the one, the controversial video is my review of Flex Tape. Now, when I reviewed Flex Tape a few months ago, I tried to duplicate what they showed in the commercial and how they said that you can stop leaks while the water's still coming out. And I didn't find that it gave 100% stoppage. It was pretty close. In fact, I think some of them did completely stop them, but not every test had 100% result. And I got some flack for that. And even though some commenters took pot shots at my methods and took pot shots at me, other reviewers online seem to agree with my conclusions. Take a look at Amazon, where its 3.2 rating has quite a few one star. In fact, one third of the reviews there are one star. Walmart customers aren't very impressed. Target has a two star rating. So my initial conclusions seem to agree with quite a few people out there who say that flex tape might be good, but it's not always great because it doesn't always stop leaks 100%. But that said, I've actually used it. I had a leak on the valve stem of my Ford Fusion, and instead of putting the spare tire on, I put some flex tape on there so I could get it to the dealer, and it held up pretty well. It didn't leak any air. So I definitely think it has uses. I just don't think it's a 100% solution in all cases. If you've watched the Two Cent Chicks, they actually had a little bit better results than I did, but they also used it for different things than I did too, which shows you that flex tape will work, but in each situation, it's gonna be a little bit different. So my conclusion of flex tape still stands. It's a pretty good adhesive, but I think the advertising sometimes is a little bit overhyped. The Yoshi Copper Grill Mat is the 69th product that I reviewed. Here's what we got after the fact. The first one that I used that I grilled meat with, it got really badly charred. I had to throw it away. The second one that I used with chicken, it lasted. I've grilled a lot this summer and not once have I reached for the Yoshi Copper Grill Mat. So for me, it's not very useful. For my 70th review, I did the Mighty Blaster, which is also known as the Fireman's Nozzle. I put up against a few other nozzles and I found that it actually performed at the bottom of the heap. See, when I first open it up, it's pretty good. It's about as far as I can go to the edge of that patio over there. I've used it several times this summer while testing out other hoses. It certainly is a fine nozzle, but it doesn't really perform better than nozzles that you can find elsewhere. So to me, it's just kind of an average hose nozzle. So there you have it, number 61 through 70. I'll be back in about another month with another 10 product updates. Until next time, this is James White with Frequent Reviews. Thank you.